Hi guys, my name is Andrew and I'm going to be your tutor for 48023 Programming Fundamentals. It's pretty likely that most of you haven't done any sort of programming before and you may be feeling a bit intimidated. You might stare at lines of code and just think to yourself, I have no idea what's going on. And I can understand because I felt that way too when I was starting out. So I'm going to keep that in mind throughout this video series and assume you watchers out there have absolutely zero prior knowledge. In this video, I'll just be showing you the basic tools and ideas used throughout the subject. So I'll be going over four things in this video. What BlueJ is and how to use it, how to print text, and what code primarily consists of variables and statements. BlueJ is the software you'll be using for this subject. It is a programming environment for Java. A programming environment is basically just where you write all your code. I think the reason why this subject uses BlueJ is because it is extremely user-friendly, making it a good platform for beginners to learn how to program. Download BlueJ from BlueJ.org. It's available for both Windows and Mac you'll need to download the BlueJ combined installer. After you've installed and opened BlueJ, to get started, you'll need to create a new project followed by a new class. You can call it whatever you like, but for the purpose of these videos, I've called my project and class learning. Also, at this point, you may be wondering what a class is, but don't worry about it for now. We'll get to it in a future video. Once you've written some code, and you'd like to see if it works or what it does, first you'll need to compile the class, and then run the main method. What does compiling do? I won't go into much detail. For the purpose of this subject, just know that it makes sure there are no errors in your code. Finally, we can start talking about the actual code. The first thing we're going to look at is printing. It's kind of a tradition that everybody's first ever program does nothing but print out the phrase hello world. So that's how we're going to start out too. When you open up your class, there may already be some example code in there, but I just want you to remove all of it and start fresh. So just press control A to select it all, then delete it. Once you've done that, type this up. I know it may look confusing right now, but just type it up and see what it does. Now see if you can modify the code to make it print other things. A little analogy I've come up with to explain coding as if you were five years old is this. Writing code is just like writing a recipe. You've got ingredients and you've got directions. It's pretty much exactly the same with code. You state the things you need and you give instructions involving those things. The ingredients are called variables. A variable holds a piece of data. So for example, you could have a variable called my phone number and it could contain 04123456678. The most common data types, especially in this subject, are strings and integers. A string is basically a bunch of any characters, so ASDF, hello, anything at all. You probably know what an integer is. It's a whole number. So 1, 0, negative 1, 10, 15, 20. You might also see doubles in this subject. A double is just a number with decimal values like 2.5 or 6.25 and stuff like that. Try using a variable in the code here. A statement is just an instruction to the computer. It's usually one line and ends with a semicolon. A set of instructions is sometimes called an algorithm. Later on in this course, we'll go over some basic algorithms. Try to spot the statement in our code. So that's all for today, folks. To recap, we learned what BlueJ is and how to start using it. We learned how to print and we learned what variables and statements are. Here's the code we focused on. In case you didn't work it out, this is how you would use a variable here. I called the variable message and it contains the string hello world. These are both statements. 
the first declares and initiates the variable and the next one is a print statement. Next video we'll be talking about input and output, covering a bit more about printing and learning how to read and utilize user input. Thanks for watching.